One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to school the week of March 24th. Let's start to, uh, off the week with the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand on your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag, flag of the United States of America. America. To the republic, which is stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Job well done. Let's see what's happening at Armstrong this week. It looks like another busy week. We had our second Armstrong Games Olympic event last week for those students who have complete who had completed their personal training charts for the week. Let's see how it went. Sometimes I dream that he is me. Got to see that's how I dream to be. We've had some Eagles pull off some pretty impressive things in the last few weeks. One Armstrong student was honored in the Future Chef competition for the most original recipe, while two others represented Armstrong in the state science fair. Take a look. Snuffle it out, but do but chat and look a piggy piggy piggly dee. Did you ever see noses? So what it is? It is a competition where kids enter in a sandwich competition where they make up their own recipe and they go to this place and they make it. We are all peppy piggies and we know what we need. It's really very simple. Um, the State Science Fair was up at the U and it was all day long um, on a Wednesday and I got interviewed by eight different judges and um, I got reviewed for a special award for uh, women's geosciences so I had to have four extra judges. Our, my science fair project was to see if a flat wing could lift. 
them in a biggie zone when We really don't ask to be greatly admired We just wanna lie down when our try to get tired We are all peppy piggies and we know what we need Wow, awesome. Those are some impressive eagles at our school. The reading blast off has been in full force for a few months now. Miss Rowland's second grade class has set an impressive place with the number of book series they've completed. Let's learn more. We have been doing a great job with reading blast off. And everybody else in the school wants to know how we're doing it. So first of all, Ashton, tell everybody how many um, series have we finished? Fifteen. Okay, and so this morning I asked you what you liked about reading Blastoff. So somebody want to tell what they like about reading Blastoff. So. How are you on the pins? Uh, your teacher gave you Twinkies. Um, it's helping us learn new words. It helps us uh, with spelling tests. And I like the pro program that's on the computers. You need to work hard at reading. Practice your um, words by reading books. I guess Mr. Howe wants to know if anybody's going to be able to catch up to you in reading series. Yes or no? Anybody going to catch you? No. So you're going to have the most by the end of the year? Wow, impressive work on the reading blast off. Keep it up. Last week, one of Armstrong's great teachers was honored by the Granite Education Foundation as an Excel Outstanding Educator of the Year. Take a look. Life is so short and oh so sweet. Life in the sun is such a treat. Do what you want to do. A huge congratulations to Mrs. Farnsworth. We feel so lucky to have her here at Armstrong, and we know that this Excel Outstanding Educator Award is so well deserved. As a principal, I've had the opportunity to work with many teachers, both at schools I've been assigned to and other schools that I've just visited. And I know I'm speaking to the choir when I say this for those who will watch it, but I have never seen the caliber of teachers that we have here at Armstrong from top to bottom. They are phenomenal. We are so lucky to have these kind of teachers here at our school. Parents, this Excel Award is a wonderful opportunity for you to recognize um, your student's teacher. It comes up every year and we will announce it again, but watch for it. It's a wonderful way to say thank you to uh, the Armstrong teachers and from me, uh, teachers, thank you for what you do for our students and for the a wonderful caliber of instruction that you have going on here at Armstrong. We are so lucky. Congratulations to Mrs. Farnsworth. We're so lucky to have uh, such outstanding teachers here at Armstrong. Let's finish off the week with another weekly rip around. Oh!
Very impressive. We love seeing those Utah core standards being learned in powerful ways. Keep it up, Beagles. Well, that's it for us. Thanks for watching. This is ABC News.